elections for school offices are going on now, and the walls of the library are covered with posters that are full of campaign slogans. Vote for me. I'm the one for president are the most commonly used headlines. Although I must say my favorite poster read, if you don't vote for me, nobody will. <laughs> Today, my very first article came out in the school newspaper. Neatly typeset with a byline to boot. I received quite a bit of congratulations on it. I swear I was walking on air for hours. But then I came down to earth. You see, in the article, I have a quote in which a candidate criticized the administration in, as being inefficient. After the story was printed, the candidate came up to me and said I had quoted her incorrectly and out of context. <laughs> oh, well, that's showbiz. Today in geometry, my teacher, Mr. Swearingen, walked up to my desk and grabbed my diary, which I happened to be writing in at the time. Naturally, because of the enormous amount of highly sensitive information that was in it, I boldly seized it back. A small battle ensued, and I lost. That's str three strikes. Stewie said, a creepy feeling ran down my spine, and I felt terribly embarrassed. Three times before he had caught me in the act of writing in my journal and not paying attention to him, he said to me, I hate to see an A student getting C's in class because he does not want to pay attention to the work. And then he handed it back to me, unmolested. After he issued his warning, I felt proud that I had a teacher who was so concerned about my future. And I guess I'll try to devote more time to schoolwork when, I, when I'm in class, but, but listen. Here's a little gem I wrote today in math class when Mr. Swearingen wasn't looking. I live in a sailboat on the sea. The world is a lock and I am its key. The wounds of my past I have learned to mend. Every city is my home. Every man is my friend. drum major of the high school band. I'm glorified and slandered, I suppose, every time I go out on the football field as the PA thunders. And now the Highland Park High School marching band under the field direction of Charles Tweety Rubin. I love to lead the band. The drum major controls all their movements. Not only can he do everything a conductor can do, 
but he can also make them march. I love to get in front of a 56-piece band, raise my baton, blow my whistle four times, and conduct them through some spirited piece of music. Last week, I led the band in a practice for the Memorial Day Parade. When we practiced, we marched around the parking lot, up and down, back and forth. That's all we did. After a while, it got old. So Mr. Yonker, the music director, told me to march off the parking lot and down a neighborhood street. <clears throat> it wasn't much of a bad idea either. Our neighbors seemed to enjoy it. I'm sure they considered it odd to see 56 school kids marching around in civilian clothes playing Semper Fidelius in Washington Post. But I remember the words of my teacher who said, if you are marching down a street and there is a crowd of people on it, play! So when I saw those three people lined in front of their homes with eager faces, I gave them what they wanted. As drum major, I always took it upon myself to politely ask the drum section to play their cadence slowly so we unathletic types could keep up. It got so damn hot in those uniforms. But tradition always prevailed, and by the time we were done with the parade, we were marching at a sweltering pace. And there was nothing I could do about it. The drum section had usurped my power, leaving me no more than a defenseless puppet dictator. gymnasium of the old Albuquerque High School. From this place I see them all, young and old, passing the ball. Anger, jealousy, fights of all sorts are settled in time on the basketball court. They welcome my visit, the game's 21, they play to win and we have lots of fun. I may get injured, I may even shed blood, but it's a red badge of courage and it's honor I've won. The siren screams, it's the end of the first quarter. The score is, is tied, 12 to 12. Ten young men and two old men are running back and forth in the rectangle which is set before me. The ten young men dribble a basketball from one court to the other. Each team tries to get their ball in the opponent's basket. Two old men try to keep up with the boys and blow their whistle when a boy violates a rule of the game. When we ride home, we will be jubilant if we win and sour if we lose. Any way it goes, we will raise our voices high and sing the old school song. The reason I come to these games is because I'm in the pep band. I play my baritone saxophone with the rest of the band. It is my emphatic belief that all the people in the stands come to hear the pep band play. If the band did not show up one day, then there would be no spectators. Here, allow me to demonstrate. I should say something about my gym teacher, Mr. Barker. Under his guidance, I set a school record, the only school record I have ever held in my life. I set a record in the frog stand. The frog stand is an exercise which involves holding the position of a frog before it leaps. Allow me to demonstrate. But take note, the record for the frog stand was 1 minute and 11 seconds. I went for 1 minute and 13 seconds before I collapsed. I will now demonstrate the frog stand. And so it goes. After I set the record, Mr. Barker yelled to me, Attaboy, Charlie! 